Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons, and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to give a correct answer for each question on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. All of the following are features of the mitochondrial DNA, except, and here is the four answers to choose from. Uh, by the way, if you watch my video that I uploaded a few days ago, it would be much easier for you to answer all these questions. So I also recommend you to watch that uh, video. So uh, our answers are mutates faster than DNA in the nucleus. And this is true statement. As you know, eukaryotic cells acquired uh, this uh, organelle that uh, were once independent living units or bacteria and as you know bacteria has a much higher rate of mutations because bacterial machinery is not as efficient as uh, we can find in eukaryotic organism and uh, during the process of evolution uh, this bacteria lost most of its genes and for example uh, human uh, mitochondria DNA consists of 37 genes only and, and the rest genes that is needed for mitochondria uh, functioning can be found in the nucleus so uh, the rate of uh, mutation of the mitochondria uh, is much higher than uh, that rate of the nucleus DNA. So next answer, answer B, maternal inheritance, and this is also true statement. Uh, most of the eukaryotic organism and sexually reproducing organism get the mitochondria only from mother side and not from the father side. There is uh, explanation to it. Uh, for example, if this is going to be egg cell, and this is going to be sperm cell, and uh, as you see, egg cell is much bigger than uh, sperm because egg cell needs uh, nutrients for embryo to develop, and uh, sperm is just perform a function of bringing. Uh, DNA, haploid DNA, in order to fertilize egg cell. So, size is much smaller. And so, compare the numbers in egg cell, we can find up to uh, 200,000 uh, of mitochondria, and in um, single uh, sperm, spermium, we can find just about uh, 5 mitochondria and more than that when uh, sperm uh, penetrate egg cell this part uh, would be shed but even if a few mitochondria would penetrate egg cell it would be greatly diluted and also egg cell has mechanism destroying uh, all the uh, alien uh, mitochondrial DNA so, uh, as you see, triple mechanism prevents paternal inheritance of the mitochondria. So, answer C, no crossing over, this is also true. Because uh, mitochondrial DNA is circular and uh, we can find many such uh, circular DNA per one mitochondrion. So, uh, as you see, when uh, DNA is circular, it doesn't have a centromere, and during the process of uh, mitochondrion division, the circular DNA replicates in the same uh, way as we can find in bacteria. So, uh, next uh, answer one copy per uh, mitochondrion and this is not true because as you see according to this picture 
uh, there are many circular mitochondrial DNA per one uh, mitochondrion. So uh, the correct answer or the only incorrect answer here would be answer D. We ask which answer is incorrect and this is answer D. Next question. If you examine a pedigree showing the transmission pattern of mitochondrial gene mutation, which of the following statements would be false? Answer A. Mothers pass the gene to all offspring. And this is true. Mothers pass uh, the uh, mitochondria to both males and females. If uh, here would be X chromosome and in sperm also would be X chromosome, uh, we would see that uh, this X cell would develop into the female and if uh, sperm would have uh, Y chromosome instead of uh, X chromosome, uh, this fertilized X cell would develop into the male, so would have X and Y chromosome that defines maleness. So, um, next answer, fathers uh, do not transmit the gene, uh, and this is true. I just explained that uh, fathers uh, mitochondrial DNA doesn't penetrate egg cell, and if it is penetrates, it would be destroyed or diluted. So, answer C, only females will express the trait, and answer D, all of the above statements are true. So, of course, answer D is not true, because we have one, one statement that is not true, and this is statement C, only females will express the trait. For example, if we would have some um, mitochondria that is mutated, by the way, if you think that all of the mitochondria have to be mutated, this is not always the issue because uh, it cannot happen simultaneously to all the mitochondria. Usually mutation happens to only one uh, mitochondria and then uh, during the process of um, development some tissues may get uh, more uh, this defective mitochondria than the rest tissues and if it is germline uh, cells uh, if uh, such cell would get uh, more uh, defective mitochondria in the next generation this may lead to um, defects uh, on the whole organism scale uh, not all the tissues would uh, uh, be affected by such mutation. Uh, first of all, uh, only tissues that uh, needs uh, energy more than other tissues would be affected, such as nervous tissue or muscles, because uh, mitochondria is used by our cells in order to convert a food that we uh, consume into the energy to produce ATP. And as you see, according to this picture, no matter uh, if the cell would be fertilized by the sperm with X chromosome or by the sperm uh, with Y chromosome, regardless of the sex of the uh, embryo, then fetus and a child, a uh, child of any sex would be affected with such a genetic disorder that is, uh, would be considered mitochondrial genetic disorder. So, as you see, uh, the correct answer, or the only incorrect answer here is answer C, and we ask to find which statement is false. So, the only false statement here is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.